Hey everyone, we're going to go over uh, the auto generate function on EPCR. So this, this function has been added to the narrative tab to complete narrative and it will auto generate a narrative for you. So what you do is you just go to review, click on that complete narrative. And then you you'll see down here, you have three buttons. The new button here is auto generate. You can click on auto generate and it's going to auto generate a narrative for you. So it's going to bring in your response mode, age of the patient, uh, and chief complaint going to bring in their history, current meds and allergies, and their first set of vital signs recorded off of your primary assessment. And then here it's going to list your interventions. So here we did a 12 lead on this patient. So um, if you generate this narrative to call the hospital to use this to kind of have a summary to give report and you're not quite done with your paperwork, that's okay. You can always just go back and you can add stuff. So let's say we decided we, or let's say we start an IV and route. You just go over here. You can start an IV. Um, just put on all the uh, mandatory stuff here. Okay, so let's do that and then go back to your narrative. You just hit auto generate again. And it will ask you if you want to replace the current narrative and you just hit yes. And now you can see right here it added, we started an IV. So this, this just gives a brief summary of the interventions. It doesn't go into a lot of detail such as uh, catheter size used or bag volume or volume infused. Um, and then it will also put in the patient dispositions here where they were transported to. So as you document this stuff, you can just come back here, hit auto generate replace and it will plug all these in so uh, we've done this for a couple of reasons one reason it's it's going to be it can it has the ability to, to have your paperwork more standardized now uh, this is an option you do not have to use this function it's it's purely optional so um, and this is not to replace uh, writing a narrative so whether you use this or not, you should always be adding something underneath uh, as far as any changes the patient's had or if you want to go into more detail about any treatment the patient's been, uh, the patient's received. So do you have anything to add, Dan? Just if you don't want to document where it says not documenting, you can just highlight it and delete it. Oh, okay. So just do that. Awesome. So it doesn't matter, every call, the narrative is going to look exactly like this, regardless of how much treatment the patient received or not. It's only going to be this long. So um, go ahead and feel free to use this uh, if you want to. And then just remember, it may shorten your narrative time uh, that you actually have to type because you don't have to type all the interventions and stuff. Just add your additional uh, supplements to the narrative itself which we strongly recommend you do. Anything to add to that, Dan? I don't think so. All right, perfect. Thanks, Chris. Yeah, no problem.